Welcome to the latest episode. It's um, so close to Christmas, it's unbearable, but in the right way. I've not done a review for a while, but I have been buying the mince pies, and the, and the problem has been timing. So this is going to be an extra special, long, extra, like three. I'm going to do three. A recap on what's happening is we're going to review mince pies up to the Christmas day because mince pie is like a festive treat. I've already reviewed Asda and Co-op. High street supermarkets, high-end products. Today we're going to be reviewing Morrison's. Morrison's are the best. Also being reviewed is Tesco's finest. Finally, we're going to be reviewing Sainsbury's taste the difference. Anyway, let's let's put it down to the test and see which is the best. <laughs> the one to beat is Co-op 4.7. So let's see if anybody comes close. First up is Sainsbury's taste the difference. What I must say is, first of all, comes in a a cellophane wrapper as well as it being in a box. So maybe I mean, it's like Jurassic Park. What are they, what what have they got in there? What are they trying to keep in, or what are they trying to keep from getting out? The shape then, it, not, not bad shape, it's a star and a snowflake in one intertwined. I'm not too keen on when you get like some of the the fruit showing. I'm not too keen on the colour of that either, but yeah, I say nice sound, it's broke, and it? So that's a, that's a loose pastry, if anything. It don't feel so great, actually, I'm going to be honest. This is not the powder that we've expected from the last couple. This is uh, like a sugar. It's down to the taste then. No, barely anything in that. Bet you couldn't, you wouldn't describe that as being deep filled, would you? A number of elements there. Oh, there's an aftertaste as well. It's a bit like, and I'm sorry to say, this Sainsbury's taste a difference. Washing up liquid. What would that be? Laced with brandy. I can't imagine it being that. That this is the news is that is a new recipe. So whatever. That's, that's low down. That's a 2.2. <laughs> Next up then, we are, we'll just put these um, to one side. Next up then is we have Tesco's Finest. It's got whole, it's got, you know, I can see inside it, which as I said to you before, I'm not keen. Also, a little bit of sugar, not too much. No powder whatsoever. They're all starting to sound the same. I'm beginning to think that that sound thing was just my in my head. It's not a bad colour, is it? It's not a bad colour, but the shape is of a snowflake. And it sits quite nicely in the bun thing, the tin, and a little pleated edge. I'm going to say pleated, I don't think I mean that. Oh, well, I've noticed there. Overhang, that's a much better bottom. Uh, yeah, okay, right. All down, as we said before, to the eating. So far, it's not got a bad structure. Mm. Mm. Deep fill. Oh, I'm losing bits. Not a bad one, actually. That is not bad at all. This is just going with the... Right. This is cognac. I'm still enjoying it. I'm thinking about going for an extra bite, but I know I've got another one to eat as well, and and I've also got my tea in a moment, so I'm not. I'm going to hold back. But that's a nice sign, isn't it? That I want to go for more. I think we're in the fours. I think it has to be Asda on that one. Four point two. That's currently in second place, and I think that's about right. Currently, that's about right. That is Tesco's are in second place. Our last review of the mince pies in this season. I should, next year I'll go a bit better, but we have Morrison's The Best. I do like the powder on this. I'm not a powder fan, but that looks quite good. That is a star, it's a double star if you can see, and um, not a bad uh, color. 
Again, the other thing as well, slightly off-putting, not off-putting, but, you know, slightly on the negative, is the fact that I can still see some of the inside, which, as we've said before, not a fan of. Let's have a look then on the inside. Well, it's quite crumbly as well, but also that could be just the fact that I've had it a while. It's all down to the taste test, and what I will say is, what I've just noticed is, that the lack of sugar on here, although... I would say, hmm, I've noticed it. I'll also say that's probably back to basics. So that's that's a good that's a good point actually. So hopefully it's a good taste. Let's have a go. No. No. It's um it doesn't look too bad on the inside. It looks quite, you know, fresh, whatever. But that that's not a good, um, no, I don't think it's as bad as Sainsbury's, but that, let's go right in the middle, three, a three, so which one am I going to go for out of these three, it's quite obvious, it's the 4.2, it's the Tesco finest, um, and I'm going to go for seconds on this, a second bite, just before I have my chicken pie later, I'm not doing any more uh, reviews, the winner of the the mince pie review this year at least is co-ops range of mince pie and what i will say is i haven't got any to celebrate with because they were so nice i ate them all and so i and i haven't replaced them so that is the uh, review i'll be back with something else doing something else um happy christmas and uh, enjoy your mince pies Go on, you've twisted me up.